Hey there, Seb by The Realtor here. In this video, I'm gonna explore how underpricing your home actually gets you more money when you go to sell it. If you've always heard that overpricing your home is a kiss of death, and that underpricing is the way that smart sellers get their home sold, then you definitely want to watch this video. All right, so it was like more than a year ago, I don't know, maybe almost a year and a half now where Compass, the brokerage that I work for, the best brokerage in America, certainly in the greater Bay Area, they put out uh, a very interesting report on the cost of overpricing your home. And I did a video about that right around the time they came out with that study. And uh, it was actually a very, very highly viewed video. And every homeowner to whom I've shown those charts and that data, they've been very impressed. They're saying, wow, I guess I really shouldn't overprice my home. It looks like it's going to be very expensive for me. Uh, but there really is no data that Compass has provided which shows uh, the benefits of underpricing your home, specifically in dollar terms. So uh, I myself am not a statistician. You know, I'm not a uh, professional data analyst, but, uh, you know, I can work a spreadsheet. So what I've done is I prepared just a brief study. I looked at only one month, that's last month in July of 2023, and I looked only in the city of San Jose. And I wanted to see just exactly how much more sellers make by underpricing their homes. And it was very, very interesting to see. Well, in July of 2023, there were a total of 302 sales recorded on the multiple listing service of single family homes in San Jose, 302. Not actually that many, it's been a quiet time in the real estate market. Okay, so of those 302 sales, uh, 76 of those sales had sale prices that were below the original list price, okay? That means that when they came on, they were overpriced, shall we say. So those 76 sales had an average of 37.4 days on market. It took, you know, a little bit over a month to sell those overpriced homes on average. And those overpriced homes sold for an average of $881 a square foot. Now let's look at homes that sold for exactly list price. And it's very interesting. Guess how many homes out of 302 sold for exactly list price? Any idea? Well, it was 12. That's less than 4% of homes sold for exactly list price, which does actually go to uh, underscore something I've always said, and that is the list price really has no relationship whatsoever to what your property is actually going to sell for. And in fact, it really only happens to coincide less than 4% of the time, something like that. So usually houses sell for more or less than list price. So just bear that in mind when you're thinking about what price you wanna put on your home. Um, so 12 homes sold for exactly list price and they sold uh, in an average of 10.6 days on market or $983 per square foot. So how does that compare to homes which were overpriced? Well, as I said, homes which were overpriced, that is they sold below the original list price, they sold for $881 a square foot, which means that overpricing your home costs you on average 10.4% versus homes which sell for exactly list price. Now, obviously not that many homes sell exactly at list price. So comparing the overpriced homes to homes which sold at exactly list price isn't really that informative, I don't think, because of the small data set. I think it's probably better to compare the overpriced homes with the underpriced homes. So let's go look at the underpriced homes now. Underpriced sales are those where the final sale price was above the original list price. And so in San Jose, in July of 2023, there were 214 homes which sold above the original list price. How much is that? That is almost 71% of homes sold above list price. Okay, those homes sold in an average of 8.2 days on market. And get this, the price per square foot uh, of these underpriced homes was $1,018. That is 3.6% above the homes which were exactly the right price, those 12 homes which sold for exactly their original list price. But get this, they sold for an average of 15.5% over the price per square foot of those overpriced homes. Look at that. Overpricing your property is gonna cost you 15.5% per square foot versus underpricing your home. 
Now, of course, this was a somewhat limited study. I only did single family homes in the city of San Jose, which closed escrow in July of 2023. I have no doubt that if I looked in different areas or over different lengths of time or at different time periods, the numbers would be different. But I would bet you that probably in at least nine out of 10 times, we would find the exact same thing. And that is that homes which are underpriced sell for significantly more than homes which are overpriced. And that is why I always tell my clients, rather than focusing on a list price, be smart. Focus on a pricing strategy that will get you the very highest price that the market will bear. So if you're interested in selling your property for the very highest price the market will bear and you want to know what specific pricing strategy you should use for your house, I would love to have that conversation with you. Give me a call or just shoot me a text message anytime. My number is here at the bottom of the screen. Love to have a chat with you, discover what your situation is, what your timeline is, what your goals are for the sale, and how I can help you make your next move the best one yet. All right, I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. I really do. And if you have enjoyed this video, I'm guessing that you might also enjoy some of these videos over here. These are some of the most popular videos here on my YouTube channel, so please do check those out. And uh, give me a like on this video if you liked it. I would really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel. That would be super awesome if you did. All right, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and please stay tuned.